If your Apple Pencil is showing as connected but isn't working on your iPad, don't worry. Today I'm going to walk you through some troubleshooting steps to help fix the issue. Let's dive in. First, let's check if your Apple Pencil is properly charged. If it's not charged, it won't work even if it shows as connected. To check the charge, go to the widgets view on your iPad. Swipe right on the home screen or lock screen to view widgets. Look for the batteries widget to see the charge level of your Apple Pencil. If your Apple Pencil is charged but still not working, try restarting your iPad. A restart can often resolve minor glitches. To restart your iPad, press and hold the top button and either volume button until the power off slider appears. Slide to power off then turn your iPad back on after a few seconds. After restarting, check if your Apple Pencil is working. If not, try reconnecting it. For the first generation Apple Pencil, remove the pencil from the lightning connector and reinsert it. For the second generation Apple Pencil, make sure it's magnetically attached to the side of your iPad. Sometimes, software updates can fix compatibility issues. Check if there are any pending updates for your iPad. Go to Settings, then General and tap on Software Update. Update your iPad if a new version is available and then check if your Apple Pencil is functioning properly. If the Apple Pencil still isn't working, try resetting your Apple Pencil's connection. Go to Settings, then Bluetooth, find your Apple Pencil in the list, Tap the eye icon next to it and then tap forget this device. Repair your Apple Pencil by reconnecting it as described earlier. Make sure that your iPad is running a compatible version of iPad OS for your Apple Pencil. Check Apple's website for compatibility information to ensure your iPad and Apple Pencil are compatible with each other. If none of these steps works, there might be a hardware issue with either your iPad or Apple Pencil. In this case, it's best to contact Apple support or visit an Apple store for further diagnosis. Sometimes a simple reset or reconnect can make all the difference. Hopefully, one of these steps resolves the issue. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.